Good morning friends. Today we are going to discuss about thiophils. Thiophils, the general formula for them is C4, H4, yes. And the structure for thiophil is same as furan but with sulfur group. The structure of furan we have discussed. Their preparations, their chemical properties, everything we have discussed. This is furan, whereas this is thiophil. And also in this class we are going to discuss about its structure and orbital picture of thiophil. Before moving to that, we should discuss its resonance structure. The actual structure for thiophil is this one. And the resonance, see, these two electrons shift here and this pi bond shift here. So, the next canonical structure is, canonical structure is nothing but resonical structure. So, it gets positive charge as it has donated and it gets negative charge and here we have double bond. And these two electrons and these two electrons will not involve in the resonance. As we discuss further uh, the orbital structure of this, you, you are going to get why these, how, why these are not going to participate in resonance. See here, the initial the molecule is neutral, there is no charge. Here we saw positive and negative, but the net charge is zero, that is the compound is still neutral. So this is nothing but conservation of charge. Here also no charge, here also no charge. And the next canonical structure is like this. See, this is the canonical structure. This electron shifts here and this electron shifts here. So here it gets minus double bond here plus 10 is neutral followed by C this this negative charge shifts here and this shifts here so the next structure is like this we got minus here double bond here double bond is here and positive charge isn't it no this double bond shifted here so this is the next structure so this negative charge that is the electron shifts here and the next canonical structure is like this. This is our next canonical structure. And the final canonical structure for this one is like this. It again takes that uh, elect uh, electron. Since it was electron deficient, so it was positive charge. Now it becomes neutral. And the final answer is like this. We again get the same structure. These are the regenerating structures of thiophil. See the initial structure and the final structure are same and these are the canonical structure. Now we shall discuss about orbital picture of thiophil. So this is our canonical structure and the structure for thiophil I have written there. It is C4H4. Yes. Then how is the orbital structure? We know that in oxygen when it has furan, the outermost electron for elect, uh, for oxygen is 6 and for sulfur is also 6. But here its atomic number is 8 whereas its atomic number is 16. So it is neon 3s2 3p 3s2 3p 4. It is the outermost orbital, the ground state electronic configuration of sulfur. Neon that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. All those electrons are filled and these are the outermost orbitals which participate in resonance and the inner orbitals will not participate in resonance or in, will not participate in bond formation. So I am going to write only 3s and it is 3p. This is the raw state configuration of sulfur and we know that here sulfur is sp2 hybridized here sulfur is sp2 hybridized and all the carbons are sp2 hybridized and since these are sp2 hybridized sp2 hybridized means they are trigonal planar in structure so they will lie in a single plane so those are planar in structure all are sp2 hybridized and then we have c 2 4 6 6 pi electrons since it satisfies all this condition so these are called aromatic aromatic it satisfies Huckel's rule as well as it is planar sp2 hybridized and there is resonance and i wrote the resonance structure double bond single bond double bond there is conjugation 
so this is aromatic and this is the ground electronic configuration of sulfur at excited state this electron is going to shift it to this side so we will we'll get like this at excited state it may shift like this then it is undergoing sp2 hybridization so we will get like this this is sp2 hybridized orbitals of sulfur and this is unhybridized this is unhybridized p orbital this p orbital we know p orbital will be px py pz like px py pz all are perpendicular to each other if it is px it is py pz two orbitals px and py are all involving hybridization to give sp2 but this z axis which will be perpendicular to both will remain unhybridized so if this is sp2 hybridized see the sp2 hybridized structure will be like this if this is sp2 hybridized then the unhybridized orbital remains perpendicular because it is along z axis and here it will be having electron density and these pi electrons here also it will be having electron density so these are going to sp2 hybridized are going to be in a single plane and unhybridized remains perpendicular to the plane and these are going to involve in resonance because the carbon is also sp2 hybridized this carbon is also sp2 hybridized those will also be in planar like this all are Those will be perpendicular to the plane, so those will involve in resonance, like this. See, those will involve in resonance, and the below ones also. Like this. So those are very rich in electrons. The electron density will be more. It will be having an electron flow, like like this. This is electron flow we will call pi electron flow because of which the electron deficient compounds like electrophiles are going to attack this compounds. So in our next classes we shall discuss how what are the electrophilic substitution reactions and I also explained in the fluorian also in the pyro that why they undergo substitution reaction why not they undergo addition reaction the simple answer is if they undergo addition reaction they are going to lose aromaticity but aromaticity is the strong parameter we can't the compound will not lose that aromaticity because if it is more uh, if it is aromatic then it will be more stable so they are not going to undergo addition reaction to maintain that aromaticity they are only going to going to going for substitution reaction now we shall discuss few preparations how to prepare this uh, thiophene i have some methods see from n butane we can prepare this thiophene n butane i can write like this if this is n butane n butane like that is ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 isn't it all are single bond so i can arrange them like how i want uh, ch2 ch2 CH3, CH3, no problem. I arrange the same compound like this. I have turned this compound in this way. Here we have CH2, CH2, it is CH3, CH3. Isn't it? Nothing but the one and the same. So this is N butane when treated with four sulfur, four molecules, moles of sulfur at 923 and 23 Kelvin. And when I heat this, I am going to get thiophane. I am going to get thiophene along with it there is 3 moles of H2S gases ready. This is the one method of preparation of thiophene form. This is N butane. From N butane we can prepare this compound. And also we can prepare this by acetylene. After I told the structure of acetylene. This is the acetylene. 2 moles of acetylene. When treated with H2S, the same H2S, then we are going to get this thiophene. The mechanism for these reactions are 
not their you know syllables so i am not going to concentrate on them only just the simple reactions and you need to remember jog may be helpful for you and there is also for one for die keto we can prepare that is palmo synthesis as we did mechanism in uh, pyrrole as well as in furan i have derived this double bond here and double bond over here this is nothing but di ketone compounds double bond over here and here methyl group if this one is heated in presence of p2s5 p2s5 then we are going to get this thiophene thiophene and hydrogen gas is ready this is polymer synthesis of thiophene the mechanism i have discussed in furan as well as in pyrrole the same mechanism is there for it you can try yourself but the mechanism is not there in our syllabus so these are the three methods by which we can prepare thiophene i think we will get the derivative of thiophene it will be 2.5 dimethyl thiophene is our derivative and this is the way we can prepare in next class we will discuss in shortly the electrophilic substitution because electrophilic substitution will be same as in case of furan and thiophene furan and pyrrole in thiophene also it will be same so i am going i am going to explain very fastly so that we can move further till then take care and have a good day bye